Hello, hello everyone. We are on day six of 21 Days to Receiving Good. And um, what I wanted to talk about, which many of you have been around at all know, I, I just see such a component of making changes in our lives, allowing ourselves to receive more good. Hey Dawn, um, is, and I forget this, I have to be reminded of this myself so often, is those incremental changes, and that's why I preach it so much too, is, hey, hey, happy you're here. So the I, this combination of, um, you know, tapping when we feel the resistance, and then noticing those little wins, and it's funny, my husband and I were having a conversation this morning about, you know, making shifts say in in your relationship and i make the mistake myself sometimes of thinking you have to make these big epic changes in things so that you know, oh my god it's got to you know it's got to change so quickly and in in diets in money in relationships in anything uh trying to change jobs i think that's that's the thing that has um that will take us out faster than anything is this we we're trying to make um take a leap that we're just not ready for so um we were talking about this this morning and <clears throat> my husband would say well you know here's one thing i did today is you know you're going to go run these errands and normally i just let you do it yourself and i was like hey i'll just come with you and i was like wow yeah that's true so you start paying attention to making those little incremental changes something that small that simple and then anchoring that in. So if you've been not allowing yourself to receive a lot of good for a long time, it's not like all of a sudden now, oh yeah, I'm just gonna start receiving it. It's what's one thing, again, you can do today that would be a way to promote, I'm sorry, I'm gonna get rid of a notification here, um, to promote for you to what one way you could receive good today. If it's, I'm just gonna take a bath and I'm gonna, um, allow myself to really sit there and nourish that and receive the goodness that comes from that. I'm gonna take a walk and and be quiet and kind of notice the birds or um, notice the you know leaves on the trees or if they're falling or colors changing. Um, we have a thing that started today here, the balloon fiesta. Um, from what I understand, it's the largest photographed event in the world. And um, there's usually up to a thousand, sometimes as much as 1,100 balloons, hot air balloons that go up. So can you go out and just like notice, it's cool, you can just notice these balloons and just really pay attention and just receive the goodness from, from anything like that. So it's those little incremental changes. Um, and, and I find that that's what builds so much more momentum. And you hear me talk about momentum a lot. It's like when you have momentum going in the direction of something, let's say, that's not working, of not allowing more good into your life. And I love this. This is actually an Abraham Hicks analogy. <clears throat> you have a car at the top of the hill, and you start to push it, nudge it, so it starts to go down the hill. But you want to stop it. You want to stop that before before the momentum gets too big so you could step in front of it. Oh, that's right, Dawn, Canadian Thanksgiving weekend. Thanks for reminding me of that. What a great thing. So you step in front of it and there's not much momentum so you can stop it. But if you stand at the bottom of the hill and the thing's plowing down the hill, you're gonna get, you know, obliterated. So the same is true of making those incremental changes is what's one little way today that I noticed that I allowed myself to receive a compliment. Um, I received some help from, oh yeah, I'll let somebody open the door for me. Some little way that you notice that you already are allowing yourself to receive good, tiny fractional way, because that really helps shift the momentum. And that anchors it in. Um, when you notice it, you anchor it in. And um, so, I, you know, that's that's one thing. And I'm, I'm going to share a story that many people that have heard before, but I think this is a good example. So a few, hmm, trying to remember how many years ago now, probably could be close to 10 years ago now, <clears throat> when I was still in corporate. Hey, Ara, um, so Dawn and Ara, is they'd come and ask me to take this, $10,000 pay cut. And I was just like, well, I wouldn't walk by $10,000 standing on the street. So um, I sat down and wrote out, 
you know, all the things that I had done, you know, that all the experience and everything that I had and, and all like the, the years of experience, the relationships I have, and I cannot tell you what that did for me. And it, I never said anything like that to them. I just felt it in myself, noticing the good, noticing what I was doing right or what was working or all the experience I had. It's things like that. And it, it just so shifted something in me. And not only did I not take that pay cut, my income with them went up 25 grand that year in one year. Never had that happen before in my life. So for that reason, it's if you think about just what what are some ways in maybe even during the rest of this 21 days, one thing a day where you're like, I already allow myself to receive good in this way. I allow somebody to make that trip to the grocery store for me. I allowed somebody to get me a cup of tea. I allowed somebody to get me a glass of water. I allowed somebody to fix me dinner. Um, I just think it's huge. And then that, and noticing that, maybe writing it down is the way you anchor it in. So that combination. So let's just start tapping. Karate chop. <clears throat> Even though it gets lost on me at times, Allowing myself to receive good. And how I already do it each and every day. I choose to acknowledge my feelings now. Even though I bet if I really look, I already allow myself to receive good. I just don't give it so much airtime. I choose to accept my feelings now. Even though I do want to allow myself to receive more and more good into my life, what if I already am? And what if I can start noticing that? even now, and go to the eyebrow. I bet if I really look, there are ways each and every day that I do allow myself right now to receive more good in my life. I just don't give it much air time. What if I started to notice even just one little thing every day where I am allowing more good? And what if by doing that, I start to build momentum towards receiving more good, which allows me to receive even more. What challenge am I having right now? And what could I find in it that's actually good about it, even that much? What if I could start asking myself this question when faced with a challenge? What is good about this? What's something I could find that's good about this? And what if just by asking that question things start to change for me. Because my unconscious will seek the answer. What if I could use affirmations? Affirmations. Why 
is more and more good always coming to me? Why is it becoming so easy for me to receive better health, more abundance, happier relationships, better experiences in my work, a better connection with my spirituality. Why is it becoming easier and easier for me to notice the good already in my life. And why is it so true that the better it gets, the better it keeps getting? Why am I starting to notice so much more good that I'm receiving each and every day. And why does it feel so good to notice this? Why is there more and more good showing up for me with grace and ease? And take a breath. So I love Noah St. John's stuff too. If you've had the book, uh, the book of affirmations, um, the uh, Tony Robbins is the one that said years ago, why questions are the worst questions to ask yourself because the brain starts to seek the answers. Most of us are like, why is this happening to me? Why is my health going downhill? Why is my money bleeding out of me? You know, why am I hemorrhaging money? Why is my partner not get me? Why are my kids so messed up? Why is that, you know, blah, 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 blah which we do, we circle the drain with our thoughts. But then Noah St. John said, switch it around. And I do find when I do this, like you you really start to build the momentum and it really feels good. Like, why is my spouse so get me? Why is it so easy to be so understood? Why is everything I touch just turned to gold? Why is my health getting incrementally better? Why are the things that I need really coming to me? Why is it so much easier to notice the good? Why am I receiving? Why is it so easy for me to receive more and more good each and every day? Try that. And if you try that each and every day, say even maybe that could be maybe be um, if you if you really struggle right now with like, oh my God, what is good about my life? Just, you know, the whole, why is it becoming so much more easy for me to see things that are good in my life? That's a nice way to bridge yourself into believing if it, it feels like it's too big of a leap, even to find one little thing, say about an issue that you've struggled with for a long time, you're like, I can't find the good right now. Try that, like, why is my health getting so much better? Why is there just more money flowing into my experience easily? And even if you don't believe that in the moment, um, the subconscious doesn't know the difference, so over time it will change. Um, you know, why does my spouse so get me? Why are my kids so happy all the time? Why do I feel so happy all the time? Why is it so easy to notice so much good? So try that. Um, Dawn, Aura, so happy to see you ladies here. Much love to you both. Happy Canadian Thanksgiving or happy Thanksgiving, Dawn, to you. And Aura, you're in Canada too, so um, I always forget that till I remember it. Um, yours is October, ours is November. Happy, happy Thanksgiving to you both. Have a great rest of your holiday weekend and much love to you both. See you tomorrow for day seven. Bye for now.